Hello and welcome to Stream or Not to Stream. My name is Gabby. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new Netflix film, To All the Boys, P.S. I Still Love You, a sequel to the 2018 film, To All the Boys I've Loved Before. This romantic comedy was released on February 12th, 2020 on Netflix and is based on the New York Times bestsellers by Jenny Han. In this sequel, Lana Condor reprises her role as Lara Jean Covey. Opposite her is Noah Centineo reprising his role as Peter Kavinsky. Let me give some background info on the first film, To All the Boys I've Loved Before. The first film centers on Lara Jean. A junior in high school has written a letter to her past crushes, five of them in total, which includes her sister's boyfriend Josh and the most popular guy in school, Peter Kavinsky. Her letters get sent out. Peter and Lara team up and pretend they are dating in order to make Peter's ex-girlfriend jealous and so that Josh, Lara Jean's sister's boyfriend, thinks she does not like him anymore. And spoiler slash shocker, they fall in love. The sequel picks up where the first film left off. Lara Jean and Peter start to date for real this time. Everything is going well until Lara Jean starts to feel unsure if she's doing the whole girlfriend thing right. Things start to get even crazier when one of her past crushes, John Ambrose, who received the letter, writes back to her and also volunteers at the same retirement home. The film follows Lara trying to balance her feelings for her former love, John, and her current relationship with Peter. Drama ensues as she's trying to figure out who she wants to be with. So what did I like about this film? First, I thought that it was a great twist, having one of her past crushes re-enter her life when everything's starting to go well. I enjoyed having some voiceover from the protagonist. I think it was a good balance. Um, it wasn't too much and it didn't feel too forced. I like that Laura Jean's dad gets more screen time and his own love story in it. I also like the soundtrack. There was some good music selection. There were cool camera shots throughout the film. I don't want to include it here because I don't want to spoil anything. The best part of the movie, in my opinion, was the talented and adorable Lana Condor. She plays an intelligent, kind, authentic, believable protagonist with such great chemistry with whoever she's acting opposite of. I'm so happy that the main character is a woman of color and we don't have many romantic comedies with an Asian lead. It's so beautiful to see that representation. Where did the film fall short? I felt that John Ambrose needed more screen time and so did Kitty, Lara Jean's younger sister. I think that I liked the first film more. The sequel seemed a little more rushed. There is a lot of relationship dynamics going on. At times it can be overwhelming and I wish the film was a little bit longer to do justice to the characters and their relationship. And we did sacrifice seeing those developments. And I do miss that focus that we had in the first film. So what would I rate this film? I'd give this film 3.75 accidentally sent love letters to past crushes out of five. I thought it was great and I also recommend you watching the first one. If you enjoy the movie, I also have some other Netflix recommendations you can stream as well. Thank you so much for watching my review and I'll be back soon with other recommendations. Bye.